What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. So today we have a great video. Now this was inspired by Hack Informers, Emulator Bubbles, which are amazing. And also with the great guidance of Silica and Pina. I cannot get enough. You know, his help has teach me a lot. So we begin today with this amazing video that I think it will help our gaming community. So gamers, get ready because today we're going to go ahead and clone official PSP games for the PlayStation Vita on all firmwares. So what do we need? We will need a PSP game demo or mini. Also PSV image tools. We can get it at Silica's GitHub. QCMA. We will need Hex Editor, Notepad++. As for the installation, we will transfer the PSP game to the PC and extract it with PSV image tools. We're going to change the file.sfo and vitapath.txt and rename the game folder. We're going to use PSV image tools to sign and pack the game. So wait for the additional tips and example. The links will be in the description. Remember to check my Twitter guys. Enjoy gamers. So we move on to the console, the PlayStation Vita. You can see I have my clones in there. I just wanted to show you guys that my former on this PlayStation Vita is on 3.65. So you can see it 3.65 just to get that out of the way. Okay, so now let's get our hands dirty with the process. So first of all, if we have a PSP game, mini or demo, we're going to copy it from the PlayStation Vita to the PC. So we select applications, PSP other. As you can see, I have all my clones so I'm just gonna select one and then we're going to go ahead and select copy since I already have it in my computer I just wanted to show you guys how to do it so we close out and we move on to the PC now moving on to the PC we're going to launch PSV image tools backup manager we select unsign and extract we're going to select PlayStation Portable. And then you're going to select your account. So now since you already transferred the game to your PC, it's going to show up in here. And then we select the game and unsign and extract. So you're going to get a message. Extraction completed. Close it. We can close PSV image tools. But we're going to go to our documents. PS Vita and then we're gonna select the extracted folder. We go to P game and you're gonna see the game ID or the folder in there. So now we move on to the cloning process and we're going to edit ROM.SFL. You can see my game ID is 25. I had done this before. So it's the same process. Don't worry if the previous one said 31, but just wanted to show you. 0025 we select it we go to SCE underscore SYS and we find the param.sfo so we're gonna open hex editor and I'll leave those links in the description and then we open the dot SFO file you can see the game ID at the almost close to the bottom so don't delete it just use the arrow go back and overwrite that number I just selected the last number it's the easiest way it's gonna create like a backup so we can delete that file and then we go to our game folder and we're going to edit the beta path dot text so we're going to open it with note plus plus it's really important to follow it with note plus plus and then we're gonna type in six and delete that extra number and then we're going to save either you can press ctrl s and or go to the file and press 
save. So this file will not create a backup, it'll just be in there. So just make sure you save it if you make an edit. So to double check it, we're going to open it. So you can see 0026. Now at this moment, if you have your emulator with your ROMs and all your folders, then remember to rename your eBoot to PBoot PVP. You can see I had mine because that was a VHBL. So this is the moment where you transfer all that information for the emulator and drag it in here. You can see the process on my one of my previous videos. So now that we've done that, we go to the game ID or the folder and we're going to rename it to what we changed. In this case, I changed it to 0026. We're almost done with the process. So we launch PSV Image Tools, Backup Manager. We're going to select Sign and Pack, PlayStation Portable, and you will see 0026 our Pet Saddle Club demo. So we select that and then we select sign and pack and put it on our profile, choose account. We're gonna get packing complete and then we're done with PSV image tools. Now it depends if you put a big emulator, it might take longer on getting that sign. So you can see if I go into my game for the my profile the 3.65 it's in there so now lastly what we have to do it's we're going to go and refresh QCMA as always you guys know if I do it twice so now we move on to the PlayStation Vita just wanted to show you guys that the clone works it'll work like if you're running the normal game just giving you a test and there you have it guys pretty cool it's exciting now this is my PlayStation Vita 3.60 wanted to show you guys that I have in my memory card three cloned games alien zombie death so what I would recommend if you have a PSP mini, it's eight megabytes. Like for example, Alien Zombie Death, it cost me like a dollar. It's better so they can save you space. As where Pet Subtle Club is like around 175 megabytes. So now it takes away space. So if you guys wanna invest one dollar, it's fine. If not, you can use the demo. It's wonderful. So if it helped, hit like, comment, let me know if it worked, share it with your friends, subscribe. As always, Game of Rebirth, out. Ooh.